<laughs> I'm just kidding. Leo's, what's up? Um, I forgot to wear these earrings. Um, uh, I bought black. Um, this Black Friday, and I bought these earrings from a 16-year-old girl, and, uh, shoot, you know, I will link her info, I have her card, I will link it, right now, I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up right now, but I will do that, pretty awesome, sterling silver, so it won't break out your ears, your cat ears, Leo, I've been watching a lot of cat videos and I feel like y'all are trying to talk to me through the cat videos I know that that doesn't make any sense and then I thought about everyone that I know that's a Leo and I was like y'all all kind of look like cats but like in a good way like I'm like yeah furry cats unfurry cats you know like maybe your mannerisms are kind of cat like so Please don't take that to offense. That's not meant to be offensive. Like, it is meant to be like, I just feel like Leo's cats, like y'all are trying to talk to me. I feel like my thing is crooked, whatever. Anyways, I'm, I'm pineapple today, Leo. So um, let's see what the cards have to say about you. I'm shuffling. Like, like, I don't like when we don't see readers shuffle. I'm like, come on now. Chill out. Because not everybody got coin like y'all. Okay, with these fancy cameras. Whole room looking like Batman's lair. You know, it's just not that way for everybody. Just know that I'm shuffling all three decks. From my Leo's. Leo's, Leo, Leo. And I'm going to pull out this one too because I feel like that was speaking to me. Leo. Oh. Okay. Leo, I feel like y'all are healing from something. I can already pick that up based on the cards. There's some kind of thing that you're healing from. There's something maybe from the past that made you feel like you have a whole bunch of wounds on your body coming into the month of December. And people keep bringing it to your attention that it's there and maybe, like, you're just realizing it's there and kind of like, oh, sorry, that I just realized that. But sometimes with the Eight of Pentacles, things take time. You know, when you make soup, you know, you don't just throw in all the ingredients and be like, all right, it's time to eat. Like, it doesn't work that way. Usually, it takes a minute to boil and, and for everything to become flavorful. And for the water to become something other than water. For it to be, like, really full of so much. And I feel like you're you're really realizing how much you are and, and how much you've been through. And, and that you have to get over some of those things to heal. I only say this because I see Expana Shapana. Now, I don't know if I said that right. You know, my Yoruba people can help me out. But this card usually comes up when there's something that you need to heal from. You might also be interested in the medical profession. You might be interested in someone who is interested in medicine. Um, but usually this card comes up when you're looking for healing, a cure, a change. And a lot of you might feel like you're sick. Maybe you get physically sick this month. Um... Maybe you've been feeling physically sick, like your immune system is just not that strong. Um, or maybe mentally you just don't feel right this month. And that's a-okay. Or maybe everything is catching up with you and you're like, this is not right. I can't go on like this. I have to heal because I'm, I'm a progressive person. I'm going to move forward. That's such a Leo moment that I just had just now looking at myself. So with the 
Eight of Fire. I actually feel like you're going to have a big breakthrough with this. Like, maybe you'll start drinking more vitamin C or whatever vitamin you need. <laughs> um, Whatever. If you didn't understand. No, never mind. Don't think about it too much. Um, or like, if you realize, like, if people keep telling you, man, I really can't stand when you do this, or maybe you're like, you're telling yourself, I cannot stand when I do this to myself, you're finally breaking through that. And the only reason I say that is because I see the eight of air, which is similar to the eight of swords, being imprisoned in similar behaviors being imprisoned by similar people, similar patterns, over and over again. You're like, wait, 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 wait. Leos are not birds. Leos aren't birds in bird cages. Leos are lions, and they got the whole jungle. So why am I feeling like a bird trapped in a cage this month? And I really feel like because this is paired with the seven of fire, you will really be making a breakthrough with this. You'll really be making a breakthrough with, with, with whatever problem, mental weakness, physical weakness, you're going to address the problem and you're going to heal with Exponent Shapana here. Exponent Shapana says December for you will be the healing month. Okay. How you like those apples? Um, I also see a new beginning and a new start for you. You're gonna feel very refreshed after you put bandages on your wounds, or perhaps, you know, I don't even think that's right. I feel like you're, I feel like you're taking off the bandages so that they can heal. And I feel like this might only be for some of you. You put the bandages on just to suppress the pain. Or, any further outside pain, you know? Because we put band-aids on so that like they don't get the wounds don't get contaminated and they don't get stuff in them. But you're like, this might be shielding my wounds from what they need to heal. I mean, just because they're covered, are they really healed? Whatever that means. Anyways, with the star, you'll feel like you'll be starting a new beginning. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. Because the star card is the Aquarius card. And I, I feel like the star card came up last month. So you might be do, dealing with an Aquarius. You might be feeling like there's an Aquarius in your life that you just can't escape. Because they just keep coming back into your reading. I don't know what to tell you. We're fixed signs, you know. When we're there, we're there, and then we're like, dang, man, I wish we could leave, but we just can't, Leo. Um, There might be an air sign that you're really impressed with, too. With the page of pentacles, I believe that you're thinking of, you're in the early stages of thinking of how you can better yourself, invest in yourself better. Ooh, did I not blend in that contour? Oh, that's just shadow. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Sorry, Leo. Um, yes. So I feel like you're, be, you're beginning to think about how you can invest in things for the future. A little focused on the coin just a little bit. And maybe you might also be in an aisle contemplating, should I buy a gift for this person? Or should I wish this person a Merry Christmas? You might also be in that situation. Um, wow, the page of pentacles came up twice, so you're really thinking about people that you should be investing in and things you should be investing in. And should I look for a job? Should I continue what I'm doing now? I don't really know. You're and some of you will be down the aisle of the store, like, should I really buy this person a gift? I really don't know. Um with the eight, oh my god, and the eight of pentacles came up twice. What? What? Eight, 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 Leo. Eight, eight, eight. As soon as you take off the bandages from your wounds and you begin to heal, there is so much you can take. Listen to me. I've been thinking about y'all. I've been looking at cat videos, and, and, and the first thing I thought was... <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Okay, this is the first thought. Tell me if this resonates with you. Isn't it crazy that you can have all the stuff in the world, you can have someone who really loves and cares about you, 
you can have people who care about you and appreciate you, but if you if you are closed off, like let's say you're you're trapped in a room and you have all this good stuff outside, you won't be able to receive it. You'll be insensitive. It'll be like like your insulin and you, there's so much sugar in the bloodstream that you can't pick up any sugar. That's what I feel. So 888, I feel like has always been there. You have always had abundance around you, Leo. You need to pick up the sugar. So tell me how that makes you feel. And 8-8 really just tells me you know you've done a lot and or someone has done a lot for you and you need to wake up either way. It could go either way with these things. If you feel like you, you're, you haven't been putting in the work you should, you should start. Ooh, is my eyelash coming up? Oh. Cover the eye, cover the eye. Um, with the three of sticks, I feel like if you like somebody, they live far away from you. With the three of sticks, which is really the three of wands, I also have this energy of like you're just feeling about feeling like doing some kind of new project as well. Like there's some kind of new idea. Um, you might want to send a package or an application to somebody who lives far away. And the Knight of Swords is that air energy that's been following you again. Um, so if there's an air sign there, <laughs> they're probably looking at your uh, stuff. They're probably looking at your social media. But also with the Knight of Swords, I feel like you'll be just heading into your healing and heading into action. This just looks great, Leo. That's great because as soon as you open up, you'll be able to receive the 888. You might see 888 a lot this month, and it means abundance. So very good to you. Did you know the social welfare office is 888? <laughs> That's why it means abundance. Economic abundance. All right, Leo. <laughs> Subscribe and like. Bye.